the independence of the sea. We got a look. We just uh, got out and walking towards Coco Catch. Sherry's parents decided to leave the ship. They're totally lost right now. So this could take all day. Look at Mr. Jacques Cousteau here, ready for his expedition to the great unknown. He's crazy. And uh, but 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 he will be back though, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Here we are again. Oh, I wonder if they fixed um, the front of the Mariner from Alaska we were on it when it crashed. Oh, yeah, the big hole? Yeah, that's the ship next to us. We'll have to look. Oh, yeah. This ship right here. Yeah. And over here is the Independence. Yeah. How much to the front? We're going to look and see if they fix it. We just uh, got out and walking towards Coco Okay. We can still see the hole. Let me try to zoom in. Oh, yeah. Zoom in here. And there's the hole right there. But it's not as big as uh, the last one. Yeah, they fixed it with the Eastern Steamer. the ship we found a bunch of hammocks normally you know it's hard to find a hammock that's available but we found one over there but yeah I guess you know these kind of hammocks are spread all throughout the island so after some bit Sherry's parents decided to leave the ship and actually get on an island because they're interested in doing a little bit of snorkeling and the thing is, they're totally lost right now. I've been trying to guide them towards our exact spot on the beach. But you have to keep in mind that it's a pretty large island. And there's beaches everywhere. So right now, I'm just trying to attempt to walk aimlessly around to see if I can find them. I have a fear that this could take all day. Oh. Yeah, I see them. I think I see them. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Hi. <laughs> Take you guys long enough. We're over here. Follow me. A few moments later. Look at Mr. Jacques Cousteau here, ready for his expedition to the great unknown. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Now, this is like, I don't know, I lost count. Like maybe the fourth time we've been in Coco Bay, maybe fifth. It's been a while. Wow, we got here. But we came here quite often. We just like this island. It's very beautiful, relaxing. Every time we come here, we can't really swim because I always find the water to be too cold. Let me see. I'm gonna put my foot in the water now. Yeah. It's chilly. I mean, it's 78 degrees out right now. But it just started to rain a little bit. But just a little bit. Hardly noticeable. Um, so not preventing people from enjoying the water. You can see here in the background. Um, you know, if you have a good tolerance for the cold, I mean, you still enjoy it. You get used to it. But for me, personally, being a, Flo a Florida man, <laughs> I'm uh, not used to being in the cold like this. Well, here I am, I'm like in knee deep in the water right now. Well, I'm not gonna go any further beyond this. <laughs> 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 
can see Jacques Cousteau. He's halfway through his expedition. Hopefully, he'll come back with a story to tell. Godspeed. Uh, it looks like Mr. Jacques Cousteau uh, needs to put on his equipment to go to proper depth of three feet. And there you are, uh, using the Slytherin technique. Oh, forgot the camera to capture the creatures that are in the uh, dark abyss of three, or three to five feet water. There you go, submerge. Got speed. May he return back. Look how majestic he is. Yes, I think that is standard procedure to check your flippers at least five times. Look at that. This Olympic athlete ready to submerge himself as soon as he gets that one flipper back on. Any minute now. Oh, he got the flipper on. He got the flipper on. Let's see what this thing with him. It's moving so quickly. Can you, can you uh, tell the audience uh, what kind of emotions are you feeling when uh, your husband is going out there, endangering his life, all for the pursuit of knowledge and discovery of aquatic life and shipwrecks? He's crazy. And, uh, but, but, but he will be back though, right? Hopefully, if he doesn't sink. There we go. He gave the spirit fingers. That's a, the universal sign that everything's A-OK. -okay. He's going in. So majestic. Look at that. It's like a confused manatee. A few minutes later. How was it? The fin broke. The fin broke? Yeah. Oh. I down to get it and the mask went off, so I'm done. Yeah, this fin, this fin, this lady said it's not going to... It won't block, it's broken. On block? If you put anything on this fin, it comes off. And, when, and then it fell down. When I went down to get it, my mask, she said the lock is broken. It's missing oh, a piece. Where's the mask? You lost it? Huh? Yeah. Oh, when I went down to try to grab the bat, the wave got the whole mask and everything. Oh, man. So after we ate, we came by this little cove area, and we came by here and chilled. Very relaxing. Usually the water over here is slightly warmer than out there on the other beaches. And you also see tiny little fish, aquatic fish swim by here. So now we're heading back to the ship. Later that day, we were on that ship back in April. They're dancing in the room. Yeah, those are the those are the panoramic window rooms. Here's a nice relaxing shot of the island and Mariner of the Seas as we slowly drift away. Very peaceful. That right over there is actually Norwegian's private island. There's no ships over there today, but that's their private island, and um, they don't have a pier you have to tender in. But that is their private island over there. It's right next to Coco Cay. Later that night. Here's a little cheat sheet of what's on every floor here on this ship. So night three, here is the menu. These are the pork belly tacos that I had ordered. And he's ordered the Greek salad. That looks wonderful. So this is the pork taco. Try it. If you don't like spicy, you're not gonna like this. This is spicy. It's fun. It's a sweet spice, right? Yeah, but it's got a kick to it. I can tell you that. It's good though, you can see all the juices running out. It's a juice that's really spicy. See this? That's what's spicy. I would get this again. This is the steak Diane and a baked potato. The uh, New York strip. Oh, oh he got the New York strip. Mom got the lamb chop. He got the tiger telly or tiger 
tiger. That's a good house. Make this pesto sauce. It's pasta with pesto sauce. Yeah. Onions. Somebody really loved their food. This is the Cherry Jubilee. And he got the same thing. A few moments later. Family,